guys, it's Anthony again from Axis Health. I'm one of the exercise therapists here, and I'm going to educate you a little bit about impingement syndrome today. I brought the scapula with the rotator cuffs um, to demonstrate what occurs. So basically when you're lifting your arm, real simply, you have a little space here, and a tendon lies in between the space. A lot of times what happens is, because the head of the humerus isn't being stabilized properly, that space gets too small, and it pinches on a tendon. This can lead to rotator cuff tears, and the rotator cuff I'm talking about is right here on the top, right here on the top of the shoulder blade, and the tendon comes down here into the head of the humerus. So right through here as well, this is my right shoulder. So that space gets squished down sometimes and pinches that tendon causing inflammation and pain. This most commonly occurs in 60 to 120 degrees of range of motion. So why does it occur? Usually, almost always impingement syndrome is due to old injury or imbalances in the rotator cuffs. So what, what do we do about it? Well, first off, what we have to do is restore function in the rotator cuffs. The way we do that is first remove trigger points, knots, and scar tissue, fibrotic scar tissue. Should, so just like you get a cut on your skin, you get scar tissue. Usually if the muscles are injured, the same thing occurs. So you have to get in there, release that, it's, it's a lot of fun. So. Uh, the second step of that is rehabilitating the muscle. So that would be isolating it, strengthening it, and um, working on contracting and relaxing that muscle tissue. So let's jump into it. Starting with the tennis ball underneath the back of the shoulder, roll around on the ball until you can locate tight tender spots. Sit on these spots for one minute or until they release. Start by sitting on a ball or a chair Grabbing the band with arms bent to 90 degrees, palms facing down, slowly rotate back out and in. Advance level, lift your arms up towards the ceiling and back towards the wall behind you. Very important to keep the neck relaxed and breathe into the core as you come up. Bringing weights into the starting position, slowly rotate the weights back towards the floor and back up. Remember to breathe and keep the neck and other secondary muscles relaxed during this exercise. Starting in the seated position with weights in your palms, palms facing down, slowly lift the weights up towards the ceiling. Be very aware of your neck and upper shoulder structure. Keep these muscles relaxed using the top rotator cuff. To advance, bring the palms forward and down towards the floor Bring them back up towards the ceiling, reversing this action. This is a more complex movement. Start out with the first exercise. Move to the next. A natural anti-inflammatory would also be a good idea to aid in calming down the inflammation. Pro-trauma is one that we've found very useful and used very often in the clinic. If impingement doesn't seem to be your issue, tune into one of our other shoulder videos and find the solution to your problem. <laughs>